So, a little late doing the videos. This weekend's been a bit crazy. But the guys are finishing the last arch now. Um, my mom and I got some more peppers planted in these totes. We got uh, Escamillos, Guajillos, El Edens, um, and Thai chilies. The radishes will all get harvested in these beds pretty quick here, but tomorrow morning or so. And we pulled the radishes here and planted the lettuce. So they're putting on the brackets for the wind braces. So on Friday, Jay and I went up north to Vermont. Uh, Friday afternoon, late afternoon up to my parents' house, and then brought the my dad's buggy up back up there, the K&M. What's that? I haven't moved them. And on Saturday morning, the guy, these two this went lighter, up north to my dad's down. camp that they built up on top of a mountain up near the Canadian border in Vermont, and brought the buggy up and cut trail for eight or nine hours. Stayed up there, and uh, overnight for Saturday and then they just came down this like today from the mountain to my parents house to my parents house to here to Massachusetts and <laughs> they're exhausted but they want to get these last couple uh, they had three left so they wanted to get these last ones done um, before we might have some bad weather tomorrow so um, they won't have as much potential time, but we'll see. You never know with the rain here, um, being up on the top of the hill, sometimes it goes around us. And we're close to uh, a ski mountain that's pretty tall. Um, we also, my mom and I, well, I went Saturday morning to farmer's market up there um, in Vermont. And then I went up to visit another friend's farm is great and um, seeing what she had going on and um, it was the farm I grew up working at and um, she's the new owner and we've talked online a bunch of stuff and like through people that we know um, and we um, she's the one that we split the ranunculus order with this year um, and so we traded Lizzie's um, types because her plug order and my plug order were different so that was kind of fun um, and I got to hang out with my cousin Kira, which was great. Oh, geez. Um, and then um, Mom and I came down yesterday. We left around two o'clock or so. Came down here and worked down here in the gardens. Um, so trying to keep things moving, and also wanted to get down here for the heat. Um, today was supposed to be cloudy all day and high of like 78 and said it was probably like 83 or 84 and sunny all day um, So it was a good thing. We were back here to deal with the plants um, We did get some stuff done not as much as I wanted, but we have um, my Mom figured out this bed here, so I just need to add some more compost back in and plant this bed and We have um, uh, like I uh, planted the lettuce. I transplanted that from the cattle panel tunnel area to try to thin that out over there and add some head lettuce over on, uh, on this side where it'll be nice and shaded. We also did a bunch of the planting stuff, which was really important, and um, took inventory of the peppers we have out here. And I need to do quite a bit more. Um, we still haven't gotten the rest of the peppers out. I'll do that tomorrow when it's actually cloudy. Are those, uh... I figured I'd show you guys an update here as they're finishing their last arch.
So Jay did have to go back and get the book out, that binder from Rimmel, and um, to check on where the, on these end three, where the wind bra brackets, you saw that one slide down, needed to be. So it's really great that the instructions have been so fantastic. Um, also, it's great having that bucket, the five gallon bucket from Rimmel. Uh, I don't, it's probably one of the most underserved items uh, that they gave us besides the instructions, but um, being able to pick up tools and make sure that we're not mo losing brackets has been great. So they're going to move Jay's pickup truck here um, and put the ladder right in it so that they can reach the top berm. <laughs> My dad was just saying that I need to buy Jay more things for his truck. A headache, headache rack was the next one on there. This looks so straight looking down that line of poles there. everything to function correctly, having it straight on is really, really important. If you want to put this ladder, please. Yep, I got the pipe. You got that?
still put it in your book. Yeah, I'll just try to spread it. Yeah. Um, oh, so, yeah, so it makes no difference. I guess it makes no difference. You get that lighter? Mm -hmm. the bolt? Well, it can go in the sledge, it just can't go all the way. Right. I'm not sure if you can hear them or not, but they're saying that they have to put it in the end with the sledge first, but they're going to have to then loosen up that bolt um, in order to get it in all the way before he does this center side. So they are then making it so that the one that you can bolt to is actually moving and adjusting to get it to the right spot there. How far off, Erica? Am I in from the hole on the end of that pipe, that last bowl? About six inches. Okay, I, there's enough. There's enough play. Yeah. No, I wonder. You think it'd be premature to send these two bowls home? I would. I would. Not yet. Okay, then, Erica, we need to go for a ride. Okay. How'd the last pipe go on? The last connection? Fine. Fine? Yep. Yep, it did. Good. No issues there? All the spacing's good? Uh, well, I mean, once we put the purlings on, that all. So the purlings, can you explain what those are? Well, the top, the middle top is a purling. Okay. Purlin. Purlin. And then um, there's a the side ones? Yeah. You the can black lines? There's black or the blue lines. Oh. Oh, you added the black. No. They're just blue. Oh. So either way, <laughs> uh, there's going to be a pipe that runs the length there. Yep. And on the other side. And over here? Yeah. <clears throat> and then... And the green lines? I think the blue lines are wrong. See. They're really hard to see on these first ones. Oh, that yeah, you can see them on the back there. Yeah. And then we have to put wind bracing like on the other end. Yeah. This end. Okay, and the wind and bracing then, only goes in the last three. And that's why you put these little catches on, here. On and the sides, but some up there. There's wind bracing that's supposed to go on the very top that I messed up. You messed up? Why'd you mess it up? I didn't put. I didn't put those uh, bands on first. Oh, okay. So you gotta have to so figure that out. We're gonna have to bend them open enough to get them over the pipe. Which yeah. shouldn't be a big deal. But on this side, we put them, most of them on, so. Yeah. So that it'll be like angling from the center out <clears throat> five bows this way, five bows that way. Okay, cool. And that's on the very middle. And then after that would be the the wire lock on the sides for the <clears throat> for the roll up sides. Yep. And the baseboards. Baseboards. And we're gonna do pressure treated for the baseboards. Yes. And there's a couple different options for the baseboards, right? Of sizes. Yeah, so 
originally Rimmel had on the invoice that we were going to supply 2x8s, but then in the instructions it says that they recommend 2x10s or 2x12s depending on what your budget is. So we went with 2x10s just to save a little bit of space. It's the taller your baseboard is, the shorter your roll up side is going to be, I guess. So. We get plenty of breeze through here. So the, the roll up side should be till about um, a, a, slight foot so we a foot off. Yeah, I think the instructions say 30 inches. He's saying the instructions say 30 inches I'm not positive, but. or so, but all right, we can look at that tomorrow or whenever. Um, gonna have a storm coming in here as you guys can see but I figured we'd go over the end here and, and how this was looking um, and uh, we'll get started with the next stages and we'll try to continue to record as much as we can to show you guys how this is all coming to be mm -hmm. 